Hey everyone, so here I am doing a quick blow dry tutorial. Um, not really so much a tutorial, just kind of watching me, my flippers just fell off, but whatever. Um, but more so just watching how I blow dry my hair on a daily, well, not daily, on a weekly basis. Cause I, whenever I blow dry my hair, I only do it like once a week, especially with this hair color. I try to be very careful with cleansing my hair cause you know, when you're this creative color, it doesn't really last that long. So I try to limit my cleansing once a week, but whenever I do cleanse it, I make sure to double cleanse, sometimes even triple cleanse. So the products that you'll be, I'll be using today is the When by Chaz Dean cleanser to cleanse your hair with, and I also use this as a leave-in. I use a styling cream to protect the hair from the heat. When I blow dry, you'll see steam coming out. That's just the product protecting my hair from the heat. And I use an Ibiza. I'm not really quite sure which one this is, but uh, I'll put the link below. I'm pretty sure it's the RLX5. It's the bigger, it's the bigger size. Um, I'm using an airy comb from Japan. Can't really find this anywhere in the U.S., but if you could find this, get your hands on it. It's awesome. It basically mimics your fingers. I have a chopstick. Anyone can use a chopstick. I have my comb for my center parting, and I have a blow dryer. This is the Parlux. I'll put the link below for this too. And the last product is the Wen by Chaz Dean Finishing Treatment Cream. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, like I said, it's not so much a tutorial, just kind of like a watch how I blow dry my hair. So yeah, enjoy it. So I freshly cleansed my hair. I cleansed with the Wen by Chaz Dean Cleanser. Um, I used that as a leave-in as well. I did about five quarter size because my hair is really long and really thick. So I used that as a leave-in, so about five quarter pumps from the mid-shaft to the ends, then I worked it through. And then I did the styling cream right after, which is a heat protecting as well for blow drying and all that good stuff. Also too, it's an anti frizz so it's really great for that if you're air drying as well. And I also did about five pumps from this, from the mid-shaft through the ends. I do it separately, I never do it together because it could coagulate, that word is so... I don't know, something about that word is just funny to me. But yeah, it'll coagulate if you do it together, so always do it separately. So my hair is freshly prepped with that, and I'm using one of these scrunchies. I'll put the link below, but it's a towel scrunchie, so it absorbs all the moisture, and it never gets, like, gross and all that stuff. So yeah, I'll link, put the link below for this. But this is by Kish, I believe. I just got it on Amazon. So yeah, so now I'm going to take the moisture out. I'm gonna take about 75% of the moisture so I don't have to work too hard blow drying, you know? Plus, you don't wanna over dry your hair either. And usually when I take the moisture out, I either put my head upside down or I over direct my hair from where it grows and that creates volume. So that's a little tip for you guys. I just wanna put a little PSA out here that, you know, this nozzle, this protects your hair from the heat from the blow dryer. Cause like if you don't use this, what ends up happening is this part right here, which is really, really hot, this could burn and singe your hair. So I always suggest using a nozzle when you blow dry. And usually I have it going vertical when I do clients, but when I do my hair, I do it horizontal. It's just easier for me. So remember that. So now I'm gonna put my head upside down. just say something real fast. So when you're taking the moisture out, make sure you're taking the moisture out on the roots first. The ends, the ends will dry fairly quickly, so you don't want to focus on that till you're actually round brush blow drying it, because one, you don't want to over dry your hair. So take, when you're doing the rough dry or taking the moisture out, you always want to focus on the roots to the mid shaft first. And like I said, about 75% of the moisture you want to take out. Okay? Okay. So for my hair type, which is a little textured, it's a little wavy, not too crazy, but it does have some texture to it. 
around this part right here where it's about 60 to 75 percent dry this is where i would stop rough drying it um depending on your hair texture like say if your hair has some wave or a little curly you want to keep it more on the damp side i would say like maybe about 40 to like 60 percent you want to take the moisture out but if your hair is really curly i would not take any moisture out whatsoever because you're going to end up fighting that frizz and you don't want to do that so keep that in mind when you're rough drying it if your hair is on the finer side you never want to over dry your hair when you're over drying it you're creating if you keep round brush blow drying it you're basically losing all that volume that you're trying to create so keep that in mind as well okay so now I'm just gonna blow dry my hair. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do it exactly how I normally do it on a day to day. I know my other blow dry tutorials. If you want to check them out, it's a little bit more, I guess, organized, and I section everything off, so it's a little bit easier to like follow. But this one, I just kind of wanted to do it on how I normally do it, um, and I think it's a little bit easier. And most of you guys, I know you guys are pretty lazy when it comes to your hair. You don't want to do all that sectioning and whatnot. So it is possible not to, you know, really section it all off like that. But with that said, if you're starting off blow dry, I really do recommend sectioning your hair off like in my previous blow dry videos because I feel like that sets a good foundation for when you're blow drying it. And then once you get used to it, you know, you'll get the rhythm and you could be kind of lazy when it comes down to it like I am okay so the first section that I'm going to do I'm just using my scrunchie okay uh oh my necklaces these necklaces I swear to God okay so the first section I'm going to do is from the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up um, I'm just gonna use one scrunchie to kind of hold all my hair up and yeah so first section is literally from back of my ear, the tip of my ear down. Then I split it into two, right here in the center. Here's another hair tip. The section of your hair should never, always should be about the width of your brush. So always keep that in mind. You never want to go too thin on this section with a big brush because one, you're going to over dry it and all the volume that you're trying to create is just going to collapse on you. So keep that in mind. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to use my blow dryer. I normally, when I do clients, I do it vertical. But when I do my own hair, I do it horizontal. Such a difference, guys. It's such a difference. So let's do it. And my setting when I blow dry, when I round brush blow dry, is on the hottest setting and the hottest setting. Hottest setting, high heat. And also with that said, you always want to keep, make sure when you're around brush blow drying that you always keep it moving. You never want to leave it in one spot because you're going to over dry and burn your hair. So remember that.
Okay, so if you guys notice, when I was blow drying my hair, I concentrate on the roots to the mids first. And then from the roots to the mids, I, I work my way towards the ends and I'm wrapping it with my brush. And every time I'm wrapping it with my brush, I have tension. If you don't have that tension, you're not gonna smooth your hair out. So make sure you always brush your hair first before you actually start round brush blow drying it with the blow dryer. Cause if not, you're kind of wasting your time and you're you're gonna end up going, why is my hair not smooth? So make sure you're always like, you know, comb it out first so you have nice, you know, even hair and then you have that tension in there. And then just let your hair cool off, you know? Anytime you see where I'm holding the brush, just holding it there for a second, I'm letting that cool and it's also creating a little bit of that wave for me. So you don't have to work too hard. Okay, so now the next section I'm gonna do is the mid section right here. So from there, I'm literally just taking it from this here. Oh my God, my roots are so gnarly. This is too much roots. There, literally. I have my little airy comb that I got in Japan. I love this, this comb so much. It mimics, it mimics your fingers, basically. You can't get it here in the US, I've tried. So when I was in Japan, I really stocked up on it. So now I'm gonna work from this side all the way around. need to point something out. When I'm blow drying my hair, I'm always at a 45 degree angle, which means my nozzle is at a 45 degree. It's never like this. If you have your blow dryer and the brush and your hair there, you're going to burn and you're going to singe your hair. So I have it on a slight angle, like think of a 45 degree angle. So it's kind of like at, a, like an, ang at an angle. I don't know how else to describe that. But you know, you never want to have it straight on because you're going to burn it. So just remember that never straight on kind of like kind of have it at an angle. And then the other part too is whenever you kind of see me take advantage of your cool shot button. 
Okay, whenever you do see me somewhat kind of leaving it on, like especially when I'm doing like the little wave where I go the reverse way, I'm holding it. I'm making sure I'm hitting the cool shot. Because remember, hot kind of smooths it all out, creates the wave, and then the cool seals it. So yeah, just remember that. Take advantage of that. section which is the crown and when I'm doing my sections too I'm also grabbing a little bit of the section that I did just so I'm connecting it so there's no separation from when once it falls, you know, so always connect the section that you did to the next section. So it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. Okay. So brush it out. So yeah, that's how I blow dry my hair. Okay, so the finishing is, I do a little bit of finishing treatment cream, literally just a little bit. See how much. And then I apply it just from the mid shaft to the ends for depth finishing and separation. And then one more on the other side. Same thing. And then just twist. That's how I blow dry my hair. It's fairly easy. It doesn't take 
that long and realistically the more you do it the faster you'll get i really do suggest watching some of my old youtube videos my tutorials because they're a little bit more thorough um this is just kind of like i said how i do my blow dry on my own here at home so yes i try to make this blow dry last me for like a whole week um i try not to wash my hair that often, especially with this like dusty pink color. It's very high maintenance. Um, I don't know why I did it, but I did it. But yeah, it's very high maintenance. So the reason I'm blow drying my hair more often is so I don't have to cleanse it as often. Um, and what I do in between those days of not washing it, like this blow dry can literally last me like a full week. So what I'll do is I'll dry, I'll dry cleanser my hair and I'll either, on my ends, if it needs a little bit of love, I'll re-smooth it with the blow dryer. I'll hit it, hit it with like a replenishing mist if it needs it so I don't over dry it. And then I just smooth out the ends fairly quickly with just one or two swipes. And then at the very end, I again reapply this from the midst after the ends. So it's fairly easy. Um, it's, it's like you got to put that work in the very first day, but then the, the rest of the week, I don't really have to do much, you know, so I'm saving time on that. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys sometime soon.